Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam, the Steam Deck video. I'm Lace 2K, and if you love Steam Deck content and want more of it on your YouTube channel every day, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon. Today's video is about the new Proton 8.0 update, and it further improves gaming with Linux and Windows applications on your Steam Deck, as you'd expect. We've got new support for new games. It's all pretty good, and we're gonna take a look at it right now from Game on Linux. They put a pretty good rundown as to what's changed. But first, as I said before, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, let's get into it. So before we get into all the changes with Proton 8.0, please check out this link in the video description and top comment of this video. It's a collated list of all my favorite Steam Deck accessories. I'm always adding stuff to it. So bookmark it, save it, share with friends, give it a little heart icon. Um, I'm always adding all the cool Steam Deck stuff here. Great gift ideas for someone who's maybe got a Steam Deck in your life that you want to buy them something nice. Um, or just to level up your Steam Deck game. Just about everything you'd want possibly for the Steam Deck is in this list and I'm always adding stuff to it. So go check that out, go check it out and bookmark it. All right guys, let's get into the article. So Valve has rolled out Proton 8.0 to further improve Steam Deck and Linux gaming. Now, if you don't know what Proton is, where have you been? Um, it's basically the compatibility layer between Linux, which is what SteamOS is based on and Windows applications, AKA Steam games that are designed and built for Windows. Windows, um, but Proton translates it from Windows to Linux to let you play. And then often, in a lot of cases, it actually runs better with Proton on Linux than it does on Windows, which is mind blowing. It's like magic. Anyhow, let's take a look. So after a bit of a wait since the Wine 8.0 release, Valve has now released Proton 8.0, the latest version of the Windows translation layer for Steam Deck and Linux desktop. And this is the tool that runs some of the most popular games around. And that's why I love the Steam Deck, because we can play brand new releases day one, like Hogwarts when it came out, right? Like, Cy well, we're not Cyberpunk because Steam Deck wasn't out then, but just all the latest new releases you can play them on the Steam Deck for the most part, um, unless it's got DRM or something, in which case, dual boot your Steam Deck, get Windows installed on it. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Plenty of the changes will already have been in Proton Experimental, but Proton 8 is the latest stable version that eventually the majority of all Windows games will move over to use. According to Twitter post from Valve developer Pierre, here he is again, Pierre Lupe Griffiths. I've butchered your name a hundred times. I apologize. Proton Experimental, we'll see an update later this week. So, as for the new games that are playable, let's take a look. So we've got Forspoken, Forspoken, Samurai Maiden, Dead Space, the new Dead Space 2023. When this when that game came out, apparently it was broken and it didn't work, work too well on the Steam Deck. But Valve, being Valve, pushed out an update pretty damn fast and made, basically got it working pretty well on the Steam Deck and it's been improved further, you know, since then, um, thanks to Proton updates as well as updates from the developers. So now that Proton 8.0, the new stable release of Proton's out, you can expect Dead Space to work pretty well on it, so that's good. Creativeverse Neo 2, the complete edition, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, Atelier Mercure, Mirror, Atelier Lydian Suel, Atelier, a lot of Atelier, Atelier, Atelier games, let me know in the comments if you play any of these. Blue Reflection, Atelier Verona, how many Atelier games are there? Disney Dreamlike Valley, I know there's a few people that enjoy that game. It's basically um, Harvest Moon for the Steam Deck, which is pretty cool. Um, not Harvest Moon, what am I thinking of? Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, but with a Disney Disney theme to it, which is pretty cool. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, um, Together Island, Warriors Orochi 3, Ultimate Definitive Edition, Exceed Gun Bullet Children, Gun Grave Gore, and GX Quest HD as well as a bunch of bug fixes and other improvements, including for the 2K launcher, which basically failed because of a, a third party launcher update. Um, I've said it before guys, I'll say it again. I hate third party launchers. Origin, EA, EA um, Rockstar Games, their launcher, freaking Ubisoft's launcher, I hate them. Just release your games on Steam, damn it, and save us all the trouble of having to deal with your launchers. Fixed Ara Arabic, Arabic, <laughs> Arabic, Arabic fonts in FIFA 21, 2022, improved CG case front support in many games, including Nobunga's Ambition, um, improved sleep and resume, resume functionality in Steam Deck for Tiny Tina's Wonderland, um, improved multi-touch support, 
as well, so that's good. Um, fixed native control bar, always been visible in Final Fantasy Online Launcher, okay. Fixed the Plague Tale instance, Plague Tale Requiem. There's a lot of fixes here, guys, a lot. Um, Sure, I'll put a link to the article down below to where you can go see everything. They've fixed ray tracing in Crisis Remastered. Um, I still can't believe you've got ray tracing on the freaking Steam Deck in 2023. Like, mind blown. Fixed The Witcher 3 while punt launcher flickering on Wayland. Fixed story mode not working on Dead Alive 6. Updated to Wine, blah blah, heavy API in many games. Improved full screen support for Last Blade 2. Improved multiplayer support in Company of Heroes 3. Now this is this is the downside of Proton, or at least running Windows games on Linux, is the fact that the developers have to go in and fix a bunch of issues on these games, right? It's, it's not just plug and play. They, they do have to update Proton from time to time regularly to keep a lot of these games um compatible um on linux um but they're obviously they're, they're smashing through all these games whoever gets whoever's in a position at valve to download these games for free and like test them <laughs> and make sure they're compatible and fix any issues with them that must be the dream job right <laughs> being a gameplay tester um so, sorry wrong wrong thing there um but yeah a lot of fixes a lot of bug fixes no game compatibility awesome and you can select proton 8 in the properties compatibility menu of any game when you tick the box see more for steam players beginners guys out below um it requires gpu vulcan through the steam deck is fine so cool brand new proton update new stable build and obviously a new experimental build as well later this week so i'm pretty happy with that let me know if there's any games on that list that are now compatible that were not compatible before let me know in the comments down below and like it says if you love steam deck content subscribe to the channel click the bell icon and if you want to support which is greatly appreciated please consider becoming a member by clicking join down below um or heading over to the amazon link and um buying something because <laughs> that supports as well um because they are affiliate links but yeah thank you for watching um oh if you want to check out our steam deck website bestofdeck.com i've kind of been neglecting it lately um i've not been posting many po i've not been posting much on it but i need your support come post stuff share stuff share articles share videos on the bestofdeck.com you just have to register and then you can post easy peasy right um so yeah check out that and also check out our amazon list um i do earn commissions on sales so just give me the heads up on that but it supports the channel so just clicking on it um you know clicking on the link really helps um anyways guys like I said, have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Tuesday or Wednesday whenever the whenever this video goes live. Um, and remember, we stream every day, Monday to Friday, on this YouTube channel from morning till afternoon. Um, you'll catch me playing games live. You'll catch me working up in the top right corner. Um, you'll catch me playing replays of old streams, just reminiscing about all the fun things we used to have on the channel when we, when we live streamed in the past. So come join us. Just chill in the chat room if you want. Just play, listen to some music. I'm always playing copyright free background music so if you want to just chill and some tunes um come join us come say hi in the chat ask questions you know interact with people it's a cool place to hang out come join us every day here on youtube and on twitch link in the description have a wonderful day guys take care i'm blaze 2k see you in the next one bye